All right, let's check out these markets. You can see we're off a little bit the highs of the session, but nonetheless, quite a rally on our hands. Up 161 points right now on the Dow. You get stocks trading higher amid news that consumer confidence rose to a 16-year high. Meanwhile, Paul Ryan saying repeal and replace may still get done. And we also heard Sean Spicer say they're moving on to tax reform. That, it's hoped, is going to get done. You couple that with infrastructure spending, and guess what? All these policies add up to some positive things on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which is up triple digits here. It's looking to snap its eight-day losing streak, and Wall Street's hopeful that all this pro-growth economic agenda stuff is going to get back on track. Joining me right now with his thoughts on how it could work, Reagan economic advisor Art Laffer. Art, always good to see you. And, you know, Great we, we need you, a Trish. dose of optimism here. <clears throat> I know you want tax cuts as in yesterday. Uh, you know, they've got some challenges, right? I mean, the health care thing didn't quite go as planned. Do you th still think tax reform can happen? Oh, sure. Of course it can. Just remember, Trish, this is a marathon, not a sprint. We've got a long, long time. I think it's, what, his 64th day in office. He's got 365 days this year. He's got three more years after that and then four more after that. So, uh, so that, it, a lot of time. Okay, I hear you. But, but you know, he, he's someone who, who wants stuff done now. He comes from I the know, corporate I sector know. where stuff gets done right away as soon as you need it done. Uh, and, and, you know, he's dealing with Washington swamp stuff. So with all that in mind, um, does he need to be more conservative in his estimates for when things can actually happen? I mean, they're talking about tax reform signed, sealed and delivered in August. No, I don't think so. I don't think he needs to be more conservative. I mean, what I think we have to do is get rid of this pay-for stuff. <clears throat> but if we don't get rid of pay-for stuff, I have got a great plan for you, Trish, that would be perfect for tax reform. It's called repeal and replace. Repeal the corporate income tax and replace it with a net sales tax of 5 or 6 percent. It would lead to a lot of extra revenue that they could use to cut the rates down on personal income taxes dramatically, and they can put in a border tax adjustment of 6 percent, perfectly legal in uh, gap are you, rules. Are you like that border tax adjustment, Art? I, I've been meaning I, to I ask don't, you about that. The, the worst thing in the world is to tax corporate profits. I mean, here you get a successful company that makes great products at low cost, they make lots of money, and we tax the living jabers out of them, highest in the world. Then you get these companies that lose squads of money, we subsidize them, we bail them out, they get lawyers and all that, and we bail them out. It makes no sense. Corporations are not people. You don't want to redistribute income amongst corporations. Corporations are there to produce products in the most efficient way possible to meet markets. So you should never have a profits tax. You should have a net sales tax. It could be done at a very low rate. And this economy would go crazy positive. Mm -hmm. And I think in due course, we'll do it. Repeal and replace the corporate tax with the net sales tax, border tax adjustment, and then cut the okay, personal wait, wait, income wait, tax where rate Where are you coming out on border tax adjustment? Because the hope is As it among... stands right now, I'm against it. All right. And just uh, to explain it to the viewer, so, so the border tax <laughs> would be basically a tax that they'd slap onto companies that are importing yeah, well, their goods. And the, the hope is, Art, that that would somehow equalize the playing field because all these other countries don't slap uh, taxes on, uh, you know, they slap taxes on our goods rather than their goods. Well, we don't slap border tax adjustments. I mean, we don't, we do a border tax adjustment with retail sales taxes by state and local government. They do it with the VAT, but they don't have any border tax adjustment with regard to their corporate profits taxes, and nor do we. And so, therefore, doing a border tax adjustment with corporate profits mm -hmm. is a stretch. I mean, it's really a stretch. Mm -hmm. But we could do it very easily if we just reform the corporate tax codes, which desperately need reform. For me yeah, right I, now. I don't know and, if you're going to see a full-blown <laughs> repeal and replace well, on, on the that, tax. I mean, the, you're, 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 you're being too optimistic, my friend, there. No, but I, but no. we could see that lower rate coming through sometime, it's hoped, this summer. You think... Yeah, well, we can get a lower rate, but as long as they have pay for it, they're going to have a real problem with getting a lower rate that's substantially lower than the current rates because they've got to find some tax to increase to offset the tax that they're cutting. That's the pay for rule. We never right. had the pay for. If we'd have had a pay for with Reagan, there never would have been the Reagan revolution. There never would have been the Kennedy go, so go 60s or the roaring 20s. They all would have been gone. You know, you can't have a pay for it. You pay for tax cuts three years in the future when you get economic growth. Yeah. That's how you pay for tax cuts. All right. Let's, let's, let's hope we get that growth you know, and the tax cuts. Thank you, sir. Good to see it you. It makes right. sense, though, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. You always Thank make you. sense. All right. Thank the you. fearless girl statue.